Creoles again. I'm here with a young gentleman who works on his feet a lot, um, on concrete, I'm assuming, all day long. Uh, this started about a month ago and started getting an ingrown toenail. He dug in there, he said he got it out pretty good, but then you said like a week later it came back? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And did it come back with a vengeance? No, just slowly started hurting. Slowly started hurting, okay. And then started uh, swelling up. He said he got back pretty far here. Just to let you know, the root of the nail is all the way back in there. So it's about three millimeters back. So you gotta get in there deep to be able to get into there. You're talking about a bloodbath. You would have a lot of bleeding. Did you? A lot of Q-tips. A lot of Q-tips, okay. Um, so the big thing you were missing is the chemical to kill the root. Unfortunately, by doing so, he damaged the root of the nail and now we've got infection tunneling across the base of the nail. So of concern, um, is losing the nail. Also, of course, getting a fungal infection, but that's cosmetic. I'm not really worried about that at all right now, but again, getting that infection um, out. So definitely gonna put you on an antibiotic, see if there's anything that drains whenever we do remove it. Um, we'll check it, like I said, in a few weeks, see where you're at. Hopefully we can keep the nail, but it may come off. And if it continues to spread underneath the nail, then we'll have to numb it again and remove the whole nail. But today I'm hoping to just to go for the ingrown, get that piece out. This guy right here, that's called a pyogenic granuloma, which is basically uh, excessive tissue that's growing. It's kind of fighting the ingrown toenail that's pushing against it. So this extra tissue here is trying to protect, um, I guess, kind of fight the ingrown toenail. So that's why you're getting that, but this is gonna all resolve once I get it out. And I'll put a little uh, extra medication called silver nitrate on there, so make sure we get that ready. Yep. Um, once I get the ingrown toenail out to get it to retract up quicker. All right, now for the fun part. Any allergies to numbing medications? Lidocaine, marking, anything like that? Okay. Do you do usually pretty well with stuff like this? Okay, good deal. So I don't know about the feet. I've never been. <laughs> I'm gonna move you over just a little bit towards me. Perfect. So, a little cold spray bee sting. Here we go. Quick little stick. Okay, how are you doing up there? So yeah, this um, this looks really painful. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. And having this crammed into, especially a steel toe boot, there's not a lot, there's no giving in that type of shoe. So this should feel much better. You know, whenever you get up tomorrow, like I said, do your first dressing change tomorrow because it's going to be a bulkier bandage today. And unfortunately, we're close to the weekend, so hopefully. Uh, you can kind of stay off of it this weekend and let it heal. Definitely don't get into any open water, you know, lakes, anything like that until this is completely healed because I don't want to reintroduce any more bacteria into the area already. Doing okay? I'm almost done with the hard part. Okay. So we are completely uh, numbed up there. It's just going to continue to take effect. They're gonna set up everything and then I'll be back and we'll get started. Okay, see you guys in a minute. Hey everybody, we're back. We're gonna go ahead and get working on the ingrown toenail that has the infection at the base of the nail or right by the root. You let me know if you feel anything. Okay, I have plenty of anesthetic. We can numb it up some more. Feel anything? Mm -hmm. Good to go. So again, I'm really concerned about this area and I'm afraid, you know, over the next couple of weeks, this is gonna kind of come off or this could even be an edge that is going to um, detach and it could be, oh yeah, you did good. You really got in there. You didn't get to the root, you got close though. That was, okay. And no, I'm not encouraging you guys at home to get in there and dig around. He's already done it, at least give him a compliment here. So I just freed it up, now I'm gonna go in, put that little edge, we're gonna go straight back. So important not to be too aggressive and traumatic to the nail itself. So once it heals, it'll not only look good, but during the healing process, it'll be much faster. So we can see, look at that. That's what he got all the way back, except to the root of the nail and a little beyond. The whole thing's out. Do you want to take a peek? That's it. Okay, there you go. Look at that thing. I think it, I mean, if you, most people say, you know, I don't know if it's ingrown or not. 
the thing is, is all of that was underneath the um, skin. So a lot of times we can't see it, but you guys can feel it. So if your toenail ever, or your toe ever hurts, especially in the nail area, more than likely it's ingrown. Okay, just gonna inspect it's a little loose back there. One thing I'm gonna put the chemical on to um, prevent regrowth. There's about a 5% chance it can return. With you, this chemical where it's detached at the nail all the way at the base, that chemical may leak in over there. Okay, so you may see some dark color and that's okay, it'll grow out. Um, it does take about a year to do so, but that's what you get for digging around there. <laughs> okay. So, it's so deep under there. I mean, a lot of people, you know, they think it's, oh, it's just a little ingrown toenail, but it's not, it's very deep. That's why um, the post-operative care is so important and you take care of it um, as we recommend, you know, using that wound powder in there because it's almost like, um, I think it's like cement mixer, you know, you're dumping it in there and you're filling in this deep hole and then it just allows it to fill in from the bottom and then at the um, very end we can kind of heal it from the very top, a little different method. Okay, thank you ma'am. Let's get you cleaned up. The torture's over, already looks so much better. We didn't really need to nitrate that area. It looks good once we got all that out of the way. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get this off and you're gonna go home and get this up in the air, correct? Yep. Wonderful. Okay. So if anybody has any questions about their ingrown toenails, please let me know. Um, also, don't forget to sign up for our channel and you can get alerted, ring the bell every time I get to do one of these. If we filmed these, if we filmed every one we did, no joke, I mean, <laughs> it would be like eight times a day. I don't know. I feel like there's a big billboard in Lexington or Kentucky that says, come here for your ingrown toenail because I get a ton of them. So thanks for everybody for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.